what is up you guys it is your girl didi and i am back with another video this is part two of the stickers for the thermal printer um so as you can see right here i just kind of went to my downloads with the stuff that i downloaded and i'm kind of just clicking them to see which ones um i'm gonna actually print it and it's going to be my first time trying to print it. So I did want to go ahead and do that with you guys. So let's just pull one up. So let's just say I'm going to print this one. These are my direct thermal printer, um, which is 2 by 2 5 by one by 2 5 did I say that right? Let me repeat that. 2.25 by 1.25. There we go. So, again, this is going to be the first time that I'm printing. And let me bring you guys right here by the thermal printer. Let me get it set up here so you guys can see. Okay. Let me turn the zoom in out. Okay, there we go. So... I'm going to put like, I'm not going to put a lot. I'm only going to put a little bit. And this is tissue paper holder that I use. So let me actually lift that up. Take this paper out. I use this for my shipping labels. And oh, something's on this sticker. Okay, so let's actually get a different some more out because that one for some reason has some type of stuff on there. So, uh oh, uh oh, come on, let's sit up. There we go. So, oh wow, and then I let it fall on the floor. Let me bring these closer. You don't want it to snag too much. Okay, you guys, I'm messing up this video already. Hold on, I just unplugged the outlet. Like what? What am I doing? <laughs> okay. I don't want it to be squished, but let's put that in. Turn it on. I don't know if I was supposed to turn it on first and do this, but hey, I'm going to hold this down. There we go. Now it's reading it. There we go. So now we have that set up. Let's go back over here to the laptop. Let me see how I can do it to where I can have it see both. Okay. There we go. So let's go to file. Print. I'm going to go to the thermal printer and where it says paper size, I am going to put it as the paper size, which was 1.25 by 2.25. Let me make sure. Oh, nope. Sorry. It was 2.25. I don't know, y'all. My mind ain't working right today. Here we go. 2.25 by... 1.25 so you can see my thermal and you can see the laptop so this is the first time i'm doing this you guys so we're about to see what's about to happen so let's click print oh my god it did okay okay let's do another one let's see uh, this one's kind of boring you want to here we go. Let's do this one. Let's see how this one turns out. Again, go to the thermal printer. Go to 2.25 by 1.25. And I heard that I can have it on presets um, with this one, but I'm not sure. Like, I know it kind of automatically saves it. Well, no, let me see. 
Yeah, let me save this. So, let me bring you over here. I'm sorry, you guys. Kind of bringing you everywhere. But, let me go back because I've been wanting to give this a try. So, right here with the printer, you will click your thermal printer, which is mine. And then I'm going to go right here to save current. I'm going to actually put thermal six stickers. And only for this printer. So, yeah. So, that should save it like that. And then I can kind of add more if I want to. Sorry, you guys. You hear my daughter. She's on the iPad. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do it again. Okay. So, let's try it again. Mm -hmm. Sounds like one of them trying to come out. I'm going to just keep trying different ones. Okay. I hope y'all can see it that it's coming out. Okay. I do want to try one of them that I did that I wasn't too sure about it was this one. Let's see how this one turned out. So if you watch the first video, you will see the kinds, you know that I did do you'll see the stickers that I did make I'm just basically going in now and I'm printing it off the machine um like I said this is my first time ever doing it so I wanted to do it with you guys so let's print this one okay so that's it so this one actually didn't turn out right um yeah i should have you know what the background should have i'm gonna fix that one i'm gonna play around with it but as you can see it did um do these which is fragile handled with care this is the only one that messed up um this one actually messed up too right here on the side but i'll kind of keep playing around with it let me put some more in actually So that one, no. Let's try this one. Um, the handle here, I might have to switch the font with that one. But yeah, so far it it did good. I just kind of have to go back in and kind of play around with some of them. But this is just a quick video because I wanted to just come on here and just kind of show you guys. Let's try this one. And I hope it didn't do good with the with the flower. I did that one. Let's try it. Okay, so that one was okay. I have to bring the stuff in a little bit more. Let's do my logo. Oops, wrong one. Oh, that actually turned out nice. I like that. Okay. So, 
I'm gonna actually be done because I don't want to waste too much. Um, so let me kind of fix my stuff back how it was. Okay. And that's how you would do it for it to back read back the shipping labels. Let me go ahead and turn it off. Um, so as you can see, the fragile one, the white turned out right, but the um handle with care, it was supposed to be white. Maybe it's the font. Um, I'll try to play around with it, but this one was like the flower, that one didn't turn out right. This one did, but if I can bring that one down a little bit more. And my logo, I actually, it did really good for the logo. So these are the stickers. So yeah, this is part two, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I don't want to do too many and keep wasting. Because you know this stuff cost. So I went ahead and I did these. Just to kind of play around with it, i kind of continue playing around with it. Because I'm going to be actually using these for my packaging. Um, so make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe.